Welcome back, you guys. We decided to get a little more glam today for you guys. We have Tammy over here on Fabulous Sequence. Hello. Sequin earrings. Oh, yes, darling. We love the pink lips. Thank you. We have Heather over here. We have to literally tie down. Yes. This girl don't never wear red lipstick. No colored lipstick. It's like, come on. I have a face full of makeup on. You have to do this red lip. It looks fabulous on you. Only this one. No, it goes with your necklace. That's the holiday. You got to wear red lips all holiday season. You need to. You got to wear it if you're with me. Today, you guys, we're going to talk about beauty. We're going to talk about beauty is more skin deep from the inside out. How society just puts a whole toll on your size and your shape and your hair color. And if you don't look like this, it's a problem. And I just feel if they just look at me, they understand this is it. Tall, slim, weave. Don't you think so? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big feet. <laughs> right. Huge feet. Huge feet, for real. But what's crazy is just... It's, it's like either you want to be skinny. Like, I was just dating this guy. He's looking at me like, oh, you're too skinny. You should be thick. You need my butt. You're falling off. No, boo. I'm on some model stuff right now. Mm -hmm. I, well, I feel like in the South, definitely, I'm an L.A. girl. So, in the South, oh, I Lord, noticed yeah, LA girl. that they like thick, big yeah. butts, but, and little yeah, waist. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I'm not, that doesn't even, that's not something I want to be. I would mind. I like being a two or four or a six. After but what that, if you date a guy that you really, really liked him? It wouldn't matter. Wanted. He would have. So to if you made a guy that was it. putting it down, you was in love with. No. And he's like, baby, I need you to get a little more weight. I need you a little more collard greens, cornbread. No, I have to do what makes me comfortable and makes me feel good about me. And and being a big, thick girl is just not in the. Ballpark now see, I that's have. good with you saying that, and we know Tammy will stick to that. That's good mm -hmm. when you really. It takes a lot for a woman to do that because I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm gonna really say, have a. <laughs> Girl, I had gained weight. I was dating this guy some years back. We were back. in the closet, just like this, <laughs> and had a discussion. I was like, Marlo, oh, you gained a few pounds. Well, my boyfriend loves it. I'm like, oh, okay. But that, no more. But you I did, because weight. what happens when that ends? And, and you're, you're right. a and big, thick chick sitting there, big as hell, there chunky, big as hell and nobody wants and you. As soon as so. we broke up, I got right. I right. got real yeah. skinny. Well, if you can do that, but as you age, you won't be able to lose that weight as quickly, and I'm... I don't know. Oh, yes, I will. I'll be on somebody's table if it don't fall off. Well, we got yeah, I'll right. be on uh, credit care. Yeah. What they got? Credit care. Yeah. I have pay here. I doctor, get me skinny. <laughs> I got a supermodel. <laughs> Diet pill. <laughs> but seriously, it's so important, though. Women, we have to come together and love ourselves and not let it, a person break us down. It's about having self esteem. And I think that it starts is. at home, it starts with the way you're raised. I try to teach my daughter now, just be who you are, be comfortable, love yourself. My is daughter true. is um, very brown compared to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. she is. And I've, all, I've never been the kind of girl like, oh, I'm yellow, I'm cute. Or I've never felt like yellow is better than being brown. And, and, and there's a lot of you know, like stigma around that. And yes. my daughter, she's your color. And I mean, good Lord. And so I'm always, you know, like when we go places, people have asked her, is she adopted? Is she my daughter? And she's and like, they always, people always ask if you're white when I'm with and you. And they like, ask me if, if she's your daughter when we've been together yeah, and stuff true. like that. And it's just like, I just think you have to love yourself. And that's what I teach her all the time. Love yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't get hung up on color. Don't think it's better or worse. It's just, just once you love yourself, just accept what you are. If you have mm -hmm. thin lips, big lips, no edges, edges, a weak... Just Stay love, off edges just, now, okay? Just love yourself. <laughs> if you got you know, a big forehead, everything. And love I think yourself. also it's about women, we have to stop being so critical of other women. And then that's where we're so critical of the next set of girls. Instead of looking over and saying, oh, look, she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look, she looks nice. We're very critical. We sit, mm -hmm. we watch, we wait to tear somebody down instead of just trying to build them Uplift up. Uplift them. And so it starts at home loving yourself. When you love yourself... What a man thinks or wants from you, you're not necessarily going to give in and be like, oh, I have to be thin or I have to be... You it's can coming go with and, loving yourself. Right, so start true. with loving yourself, how you raise your kids, and you know, And you do have to way. teach that at home. I you even say that with Lyric. Yeah. Because Heather's daughter, she's dark also. And she's thicker than me. And yeah. when I'm over there starving and working out, she was like, you're crazy. Right. You know, okay. I'm happy within myself. And, and that's, that's what's important. That about her. And you know, my other two kids, they're lighter. So she's really the darkest one, and I mean, I always thought she's beautiful, you know. And you I, have I to. tan to get her color. We do have to keep literally saying things over and over to ourselves and uplifting ourselves. And what bothers me is how you see black girls rock, black women do this, they stick together. It's been times where I've been turned down from functions because of my past or because of jobs I've had before where they feel 
I'm not the brand or the image. What is the image? If you're trying to uplift me and show me a different way, I should always be that image. And I really believe everyone deserves a second chance. I yeah. definitely believe that. I hope you guys can walk away with something from hearing me and my girlfriends, Tammy and Heather, how we spoke today, how we even feel uncomfortable being beautiful, going into places and people are judging me. I've been turned down several times to events and women that I admire, but have tough skin. And like Tammy said, it's not meant for you. Everyone's not going to like you. And sometimes when God and, closes one door, another door will open. And, and ladies, if you're raising kids, you know, it starts at home. And put them in a position to feel good about who they are. So when they go out into the world, mm -hmm. they are empowering each other and not hating on each other and not continuing that cycle exactly. of, exactly. you know, just so what I'm Exactly, that's so true. And what I'm saying to you today, this is your challenge. And I want you to email me, tweet me, Instagram me. Go make a difference in someone's life today. I don't care if it's someone someone that you may have talked to or you smile, would not have talked to. Smile at them. Kind words. I mean, nice. they may be in line. Nice. Encourage It don't cost anything. Yeah. Help someone in line today. Just go and tell them you're pretty. Or if you do hair, say, you know what? I'll do your hair free. I do hair at such and such. One lady I just saw at UPS, I told her, hey, I'm going to bring you a couple of headbands over for you have a bad hair day or a headband. Just do something to make a difference in a person's life. You'll feel so good with doing that. It's an feeling like no other so go out try it make a difference in someone's life today uplift another woman and let's do cheers to uplifting each other welcome back everyone everyone's always asking me about my glam so today i have a big surprise for you latasha wright celebrity makeup stylist hi latasha oh hi diva welcome to marlo's closet i'm glad to be here in this fabulous boutique this is more like a <laughs> private boutique it's not a private boutique but i made it special today for you oh well thank you darling and also i have another treat for you i wore this chanel makeup <laughs> necklace just for you <laughs> i wore my pink lipstick which i love what is this it can be snob saint, saint germain. germain i love um there's a mirror see. there's a palette also yeah mirror which both of us will love look let's see, my lips are popping oh mm. you look cute popping look yours are too pop a color is that ruby woo you have on absolutely see i'm learning my you, name you know it's so funny for you to learn a name first of all it's only proper that you wear a chanel uh piece with <laughs> proper products and that you actually remember names because i think back it's so funny you didn't even wear makeup when I met you. Is that not crazy? What was that? 2007? 2007. Somebody so fabulous. You're not scared of putting polka dots in plaid, <laughs> but you were scared of highlight, contour, a lash, and a bow lip. That was a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> plaid, polka dot, bow lip, and highlight. And highlight. Tosh, but how has it been, though? I mean, like, how did you get started with makeup? Seriously, like, what made you just say, hey, this is what I'm going to do? How did you get celebrities? Mm. Like... You know what? It happened. The funny thing about it is my plan was to be a nurse. Imagine that. Yeah. A nurse? Yeah. You're going to be a sexy-ass nurse. I was I was going to try to be the sexiest and get me a doctor, but here's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> here's what happened. <laughs> and my course, God had a different course for me, so what ended up happening is I love making people feel good and look good. It's like therapy. Okay. You know, I look at makeup um, at this point. It's like a ministry. So what happens is being a nurse, I had the concept of always helping people. Okay. I want people to feel good. I feel that when you're dealing with anybody, whether it's a service or a product, people think of you when they're getting that service or still using that product. But antibiotics take 7 to 10 days to kick in. Ooh, Girl, I can make you look yeah. good in 45 minutes, which means you're going to feel better. Yeah. Amen. So it was a little bit preach. quicker for me. So you preaching today, Lord. We need the Bible. Today, <laughs> so for, I was... Yeah, because you can make me feel look feel good in 30 day, all gone minutes. Yeah, because you come I've gotten off the plane and had a bad Absolutely. day and had to come right to the right look. Or you decide you're going to jump on a flight and go overseas at the last minute, and then the pressure's on me to give you a quick beat before you catch a flight. That is So, true. with that being said, celebrities and fabulous people such as yourself, I always keep my necessities in my kit. Just as today. That we had a lot going on. You had a lot to do. I had a lot to do. So, I always go to my must-haves, which is always going to be an amazing bronzer. Yes. So, you know I live and die by a bronzer. Let's talk about that. Okay. Even today, for example, a classic. It's all about pigmentation. And Did I you? tell people. You see? When you guys see that highlight? Absolutely. Mm. Did you catch it? Is it shining? Mm, is it shining. shimmering? And you argue with me all the time talking about too much bronzer. You want too much bronzer. And I even go behind you a thousand times and put more on it. Is that so what happens? Because yeah, I, I always think that I didn't put that much, but I well, see you, see you later. It's, I know. So you're touching up only with bronzer. <laughs> yeah, you're not just using bronzer. Else. <laughs> you don't see that natural glow. Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> see, Marla, you're a star. So 
So you're already <laughs> shining. So adding the too much bronzer, we have to tone that down just a little bit. Aww. So a good bronzer. <laughs> it's all about a great blush. Here's the trick and the tip, ladies. So the bronzer, wait, that's by MAC? You prefer a bronzer by MAC well, or is it I, any other? This is my favorite. MAC doesn't make it anymore. But the pigmentation on What's this bronzer, this it's called Glory. Glory. And they don't make it anymore? They don't make it anymore. See, that's how you just make it like a drug, the way you have to come to you. You have the things they don't make it anymore. Because you know I'm going to buy three or four at a time. See, huh. when I see a good collection come out, you know I go buy up everything. So, so if we can't get Glory, what's our next go-to? Me. Oh, my God. Well, see, you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to back. look for Glory, look for anything close to Glory. Just get the little Tasha. I probably have them in my shop. Come see me. Tom Ford. Oh, I love Tom Ford. I used to wear his shoes a lot, too. Girl, we wear his everything. If I, I could wear his world on my shoulders. I would. I know. The pigmentations are very creamy. They're good. They're vibrant. But the thing about Tom Ford's bronzers I love, they're very sheer. So people that are heavy-handed, it's almost like an error-proof product. You know what I mean? Okay. Because I love products that you have to layer so that you're never putting too much at one time. They're very, very smooth. They're finely milled, so it gives a very light application. Okay, now, would that work for a lady? You know how I love natural, mm -hmm. which I am today with a pop of color. Absolutely. But would that work for a lady who likes more? Because sometimes people are like, you're just so natural. But I mean... You know what? And, and that's one thing that I've learned. Everything isn't for everybody. You have to do what works for you. You love a nice, dewy, soft, light face. I do. So I, I do. think this product, would, to answer your question, would work well for everyone. And even for someone like me that likes a lot, you just layer. You because just everything's layer buildable. More. Everything's okay. buildable. So if it's not enough, you can always add to it. It's always easier to add than it is to take away product. Okay, so this is Tom Ford, and this is... The name of this product is going to be Savage. Savage. So Tom Ford Savage, and that's where... I've uh, foundation or our that's going to be your blush. Your blush. That's going to okay. be your blush. Savage, you guys. Tom Ford mm -hmm. Savage. And ladies, if you ever put too much blush and you see like your color stuck right here, just go over it with a little bit of foundation powder. And it'll take away the color and it'll take away that product. And then you can go back and put it where you meant to put it the first time. Because mistakes happen. And that's one thing about it. Yeah, it does. It's like coloring. It's like drawing. You know what I mean? It's like a, mm -hmm. you can erase it and put it back. Okay, now tell me about this gorgeous lip I have on today. Oh, ladies. Who doesn't love pink you were wearing pink as a little girl as a little girl you had pink on it too you wear pink at 20 you wear pink at pink never goes out of style it's dear to your heart it's like when you wear pink you become a real life barbie pink like is Marla. pretty isn't she a real life barbie you can dress up every thanks day. to you i do i do what i can i do what i can so what's the name of this pink this is, is gonna this? be saint germain i love saint germain you guys and also snob that's another favorite. So St. Germain Snob, mm -hmm. even if you have strong features, I would say, because sometimes when I do too much, I feel like I'm yeah. too, I have strong features. The pink softens everything. Pink softens. This, look at you learning. It pink really does. Pink softens you. I remember my first pink you did on my first appearance mm -hmm. on our Real Housewives of Atlanta. People went crazy yeah. about that pink. They went crazy. Remember I had the pink blush? I did a whole pink moment. But it was so pink soft Pink Valentino ruffle. Ooh, it remember. was so soft and pretty. I would fool someone from that picture. Uh <laughs> Well, Natasha, tell us now, you also work with a lot of celebrities. I mean, I know I'm an A+, plus, but I mean, who are your A's? I'm just joking. <laughs> but tell us about your celebrity clients. Like, how is that dealing with celebrity clients, working with them? Is the energy as good as it is working with myself? You know what? Um, it is. I am. I would say I have the best clientele. So it's not like bougie, no, stuck no, up, no, scary? No, 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 wow. no, no. No, I don't have that Kelly Rowland sweet. She oh, is, I toured she's her Aquarius, for She's I think, is she? I think uh, she is. I'm not sure. You know I'm big on Zodiac yeah, signs. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Lala, she's a pleasure. You, I have what? my... Mm. Who's like one celebrity that you just have, just, just awesome, who you thought would probably be something else, but ended up just being awesome and just real, and you could just Ooh. a memorable moment. Oh, that's celebrities. a good question. Do you know no one's ever asked me that question before? No one ever who, asked me. Who I was maybe a little bit... No Ooh. The one person I was nervous because she is like huge. I was like, me. Oh. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> you. No. You're still. A, I'm still no. nervous every day. I don't know what I'm gonna get. No, but <laughs> it was serious. Serena Williams. Wow. I would have been nervous too. Girl, I was like, so oh, my oh my god. Serena Williams makeup Tasha. Oh, oh seriously. absolutely. You know, so the funniest story is I was on a flight and I was going oh, to. God. I don't know where I was going because I've been so many places. I was on a flight. She gets, she missed her flight. This is how I knew it was meant to be. She missed her flight, looked back and saw me because I met her through Kelly. She's okay. like, Latasha. I was like, hey, oh my God. Let me tell you something. So it's so down to earth. And took cool. me the whole weekend. She was wearing the right look. She didn't even book the right look. But when you run into good people, it's what it was. So you just ran into her and you did her makeup. I knew. I haven't worked with her before. But she saw me wow. again on the plane. That goes down. It's one of my most memorable moments. When wow. I tell you, that is one of the most sweetest, most down to earth women I've ever met in my life. You missed one of the parts. The most 
fine. Isn't she fine? Fine, baby. As long as you ever when I like tell that. you stacked, yes, I almost like me. You're, I you're, almost, but yeah. But you, you got a big by one six pack she, she and one by one squats, but that's baby. a fine young lady. I love her yeah, energy. Absolutely. I love on Instagram, just like I always like her pictures. I'm yeah. like, okay, I look at Serena pictures. I'm like, squat, squat, squat. Yeah, you squat, thought you was in right before I was about to have that next treat or that next donut. And I'm like, uh. Serena is fine. So Tasha, tell me, for fall, what do you have to have in your makeup mm -hmm. bag? For fall, I mean, like, holidays yeah. are coming. It's getting cold now. Can I still wear this pink? Yeah, you, I wouldn't suggest as we get cooler, as we, oh, you know, progress. Pink, my pink. Now, we're going to warm it up just a little bit. Because I tell you what, as we go into falls and your furs, we either need to go on the neuter side with a warmer eye or bold, pink. rich pop colors. Meaning, like, more of your richer dur burgundies, um, your richer purples which are really soft hues you know oh purples are very rich it means royalty you know so your deeper colors in the fall always look really really good because you're in the okay. holidays of course red is year round red definitely you can go uh, year round Thanksgiving year round. Christmas but if you want to change it a little bit change your lip liners the liners really absolutely I don't like if you see my liner though yeah some so can don't. you blend it in though? Yeah. Would that change the lip color? Absolutely. So put your okay. lip liner on first and smudge it in with your finger. It'll just soften it. And how do you bit. know if you're doing a burgundy, what color liner to do with that? Do you do a brown? Do you do a burgundy? Do you do a red, a pink? What do you do? That is a good question. Your hues. And, and what you mean by that okay. is, let's say you were going to use um, a red lipstick. I like to use more of a burgundy color, which is deeper. So almost like a deep burgundy blends into a red really well. So you make it more darker. It'll make it darker, but it'll still be in that same family. Browns will tone it down, but it'll, guess what? It'll be a little bit more warmer. And for those mm -hmm. that don't understand makeup talk, think about like brown. It's going to be a little duller. Okay. Because it's going to tone it down. So I like to use colors that still um, complement the color, but then brighten it up or either darken it up but I choose to use more of deeper plums for my liners versus the browns I only use browns if I'm going to do a nude okay only if you're going to do a nude yeah. so there we have it so for fall you're seeing nudes dark burgundies absolutely. dark plums Rich colors. and red definitely absolutely what I want to tell you guys if you're looking for makeup there's no other way to go besides the right look so I mean God gave her that name and it's the right look and I'm never disappointed in her we can never fall out and if we do you still have to do my makeup <laughs> because I need the right look I don't want the wrong look and uh, she is definitely one of my favorite makeup artists in the world no matter where I'm at you are so I'm so proud of you. you. Um, tell the viewers how can they reach you, where to follow you out on social media. Absolutely. The Right Look Makeup Studio here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Latasha Wright on Instagram and Twitter. You can go to my website at latashawright.com and look out for my product line coming. I'll actually be coming to a city near you really soon. Makeup artists, if you're looking for techniques to grow your clientele, to build your business, and looking for tips to actually take you to another level, then you would definitely want to be there. And I just want to say thank you to clients that have been wearing the right look for years uh, makeup is an accessory if you're going to be fabulous and wear amazing pieces and amazing garments it's only right that you wear amazing makeup so I you know I, I'm all about providing a service but how you build a business and, and then building a brand and then building a reputation is being consistent That's Marlo's true. consistently fabulous I like to give consistent makeup, giving clients the right look. And that's really what it's about. It's about relationships. It is. And now we're going to definitely have a little boo. Oh. Because you know there's never a party mm. without a little boo. Absolutely. And Tasha, it's so crazy. You know how I'm in my zodiac signs. It's no Quimini thing. Aquarius and Gemini. So let's toast the style. Absolutely. Toast style, the style. fashion, yes. and glam. It definitely is that. You guys know I'm not going to leave without giving you a style tip. Today's style tip is animal print handbags. We all need them for fall. This is one of my favorite Valentino animal print leopard handbags. You can carry it with a strap or you can put that inside and carry it as a clutch. My next favorite print would be Python. Ramen has an awesome Python, just a natural Python. It goes with anything. Don't be afraid. Mix patterns this fall. It's a classic. It never goes out of style. Last but not least, another leopard print, Tom Ford. And the thing I love about this clutch, it's two for one. You get a fabulous ring and a clutch. Definitely go out, purchase anything animal print, python, leopard, must have for fall. Until next time, love you guys, bye.